Acting Lieutenant David Haynes with the Salisbury Fire Department. Uh, back again with another training minute and we're going to revisit some fire ground hydraulics. In a previous training minute session we talked about the formula we have up here for a pump operator to determine his pump discharge pressure for an attack engine. And we identified the four elements as being the NP or the nozzle pressure, the FL or friction loss, the D for devices or appliances, and then the HP for your head pressure or your elevation pressure up or down. Uh, in that example, we used pre-connected attack lines and we used a fixed friction loss that we would figure for a two inch, inch and three quarter or inch and a half hose, uh, what MIFRI teaches is 30 pounds per 100 feet. Uh, for today, we're going to expand on the friction loss side of this and we're going to talk about the Q-squared method of determining friction loss specifically for three inch hose. Now, the Q-squared method will get us to friction loss for two and a half inch to six inch hose, but the baseline for that is three inch. We'll talk about that today. In another training session, we'll address the, uh, the other sizes and some conversion factors we would use to get there. Uh, anytime we're calculating friction loss and not using a given number, such as the 30 pounds per 100 feet for an attack line, what we would have to identify uh, the three things is the flow in gallons per minute, the size of the hose, the diameter, and then the length of the hose leg. So we'll do a couple examples here for three inch hose and then we'll show you how this translates to a hand method that a driver operator can use at uh, 2 o'clock in the morning on a fire as a uh, memory jogger. So the first example we'll use, we'll say uh, 300 gallons a minute. And we'll say that it's uh, 500 feet of 3 inch hips. So the first thing we're going to do, we identified our flow. Both the flow and the length, we're going to divide by 100. So the easiest way to do that, since we have a nice round number, is to knock off the zeros. And the number that we end up there with the gallon per minute, once we divide by 100 and knock off the zeros, it becomes a 3. That essentially becomes the Q. So the 3 squared, or 3 times 3, would end up being 9. And that would tell us that as driver operators, for every 100 foot section of 3 inch hose flowing 300 gallons a minute, there would be approximately 9 pounds of friction loss. The next thing that we would identify would be the length of hose, which we've already divided by 100 and it came up with 5. So 9 pounds per 100 feet, 9 times 5 for 500 feet would give us 45 pounds. So the entire hose lay of 500 feet of 3 inch. 300 gallons a minute, there would be a total of 45 pounds of friction loss. So using this method, you could change the numbers around. Uh, any numbers that you use, same thing. Divide by 100 for the gallon per minute and for the length, and then square the number that you come up with for the gallons per minute. Whatever number you end up with, multiply times the length, and that would give you your total friction loss. So flow, size, and length. That works great for a nice round number, 100, 200, 300, 400, 500. And there's a, a hand method that we can use to help 2 o'clock in the morning as a memory jogger to, to do this. If you take your hand and go from left to right, thumb to pinky, uh, that's 500 gallons a minute. 100, 200, 300, 400, and 500. And then your memory jogger will be the palm of your hand. That will be your multiplication sign. So for three inch hose, the quantity will be the fingers. And then you knock off the, the zeros. So 300 gallons a minute, you would go one, two, three, three times three, that'd give you nine. It's just kind of a memory jogger. If I have a uh, gallon per minute flow that is not a nice round number, like a 300, 400, 200, uh, or whatever the number would be, but it was an in-between number, you could, uh, you could also use this method. And then uh, we'll do an example here with 350 gallons a minute. We we'll use the same uh, length of hose and then the same size, of course. So the formula will kind of reset itself here. The difference is that with 350 gallons a minute, um, you'd actually have to multiply. You wouldn't be able to just knock off the zero. So you'd have to physically multiply 3.5 times 3.5 and then you would end up with 12 and a quarter, which uh, 
is workable, that's 350 divided by 100, that's the number you would end up with. Uh, as a user-friendly method of doing this on the fire ground, your hand method will account for you doing that and you end up with a nice round number instead of a, a fraction. So 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, if I have an in-between number such as 350, 1, 2, 3, and wherever the 50 would fall, it's between 3 and 4, you just cross multiply. So 350 gallons a minute, 1, 2, 3, there's 350, and go 3 times 4 instead of going 3 times 3. So 3 times 4 would give me 12. And that would tell me that at 2 o'clock in the morning on a fire, if I had 500 feet of 3 inch hose flowing 350 gallons a minute, there's 12 pounds approximately of friction loss per 100 foot section. And then I would multiply for the length, 12 times 5, there would be about 60 pounds of friction loss in the hose lay. So very quick and easy method. Uh, it's a refresher for most pump operators to use this method but the Q squared, the flow divided by 100 becomes the Q. You account for the size, 3 inches the Q squared and in the length of hose you multiply the number you come up with doing the Q squared times the length of hose divided by 100. That would give you your total friction loss for 3 inch hose in a given hose lay. That's today's training minute.